So today we're going to talk about the appreciative inquiry 4D model. This is the classic framework in appreciative inquiry that many of you maybe are familiar with, but I'm just going to talk us through today so that you know what the 4D stand for. So the first thing in appreciative inquiry is we have to figure out what is our topic? What is it that we want to be inquiring and studying into? And that's going to go right in here. The first thing we have to do is define what we want to study. So, for example, Take an organization like Champlain College. Champlain College is a place that we want our employees to be excited, empowered, and engaged, right? So that's something we want to grow and create in our organization. That's something we want to inquire into. So we're going to put that topic right in the middle here. Excite, empower, and engage. That's what we want more of in our organization. And so now using the 4D process, we can inquire into and figure out how can we um, create a culture of excitement, empowerment, and engagement. So that first D is gonna be discover. So in Discover, this is an opportunity to really look in the organization, to look and invite people's individual experiences about when have we experienced excitement, engagement, and empowerment in our organization. We can do this through individual inquiry, we can do this in focus groups, in big conversations, but the idea here is how are we lifting up all the examples of when people have felt excited, empowered, and engaged? What does that look like? What does that sound like? What does that feel like in the organization? Organization. So that's our discovery process. And then we're going to move to our second D, which is dream. So this is really from moving from what is existing now to looking into the future and really defining success for ourselves down the road. What is it going to look like in six months, in a year, in three years from now, when the entire culture, where every employee and person at Champlain College feels excited, empowered, and engaged. And let's collectively create that vision together so that dreaming, again, can happen individually, it can happen in group conversations, but what we're doing is sort of putting our mind's eye into the future and thinking about and defining what is it gonna look like in that future state where everybody feels excited, empowered, and engaged. Now, so we've had, we've discovered what's working, what does that look like in the system, we've started creating this vision for the future, and now it's time to roll up our sleeves and move from today toward that desired state in the future. So our next D is design. And so we're moving from dream, which is sort of our roadmap of where we want to go, into now looking at what are some of the smallest steps and maybe some bolder steps that we can start doing to put in action things to create and make our dream come to life. What are some of those new initiatives, prototypes, um, pilots, projects that we're gonna do that's gonna move us from our current state toward that desired state in the future? Again, moving us toward a sense of excitement, engagement, and empowerment. But that's not where we stop. So we are, have our last D over here is deliver. And so with deliver, we're gonna move from our design where we've started beta, beta typing, uh, prototyping, and putting things into practice. And now it's really how do we deliver that and embed that into the organizational culture through best practices, through metrics, and through uh, project management best practices, that we are embedding the things that worked in our design process into the culture of the organization. But you'll notice that these um, four different things don't uh, stand on their own. It really is meant to be a cycle. So. We will move from discover to dream, from dream to design, from design to deliver, but really, again, this cycle comes back to discover, that we're constantly also always looking at and discovering what's working now, even as we're designing and putting things into practice, we're always asking that question of, what are those examples of things that excite, empower, and engage us? What's working? Keeping our mind's eye into the future. Where do we want to go um, tomorrow together? And just continuing to move through that cycle um, is sort of the simple overview of the 4D process.